Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien on the morning of uh, Friday, January 26, 2024. And here's a special sports news commentary directed at the National Baseball Hall of Fame. To you guys in Cooperstown, the Baseball Hall of Fame, I say, how can you be so Republican right-wing extremist? And I qualify you like them because here's what's happening. You got guys in the ballots that should have been in the Hall of Fame. But because of issues that you say, oh, they don't belong there because uh, they didn't play the game or they tried to uh, uh, so soil the baseball, prestige of baseball. Really? Hmm. Shoeless Joe Jackson, number one, should be in the Hall of Fame. There's no proof that he was part of the Blackhawk scandal. But yet, because of Commissioner... Mm. Landis, uh, you haven't put him in. Where is your veterans committee that should be looking at the right thing to do for the right people? He has the numbers to go in. His life post the Black Sox scandal was okay. And he never caused any problems past that. Okay. And there was no, other than the circumstantial accusations, no real evidence that he was part of the thing. He was just sacrificial lamb to get the Black Sox scandal behind baseball. Number two, should Mark McGuire be in the Hall of Fame? Well, no. And the reason I say that is because he did take the drug. It was known that he did. And his body, and even today, you can go to a doctor and he can tell you that his body is deteriorating at rate that because he took some substance that he shouldn't have taken it has caused his body damage in the long run. So I would be hesitant to put him on the same pedestal as Sulis Joe Jackson. Same with Barry Bonds and Pete Rose. Wow, yeah. Now, Sammy Sosa, that's a different story. 1998, he had a good season, but then again in 2003, he had a good season. And he's still Sammy Sosa today, unlike Mark McGuire. Mark McGuire looks 20 years older than Sammy Sosa. If you put those two in the same picture you did in 1998, put a 2024 picture with the two guys on there, and you'll see what a difference Mark McGuire looks compared to uh, Sammy Sosa. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be anti-Mark McGuire here. What I'm saying is, because of the situation that he found himself in, like Barry Bonds, that's up to you in the Hall of Fame. Because of the evidence is mounted. But there is not that same evidence for Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa today will tell you, my numbers prove that I should be in the Hall of Fame. Mark McGuire's number two, they started to decline. And everybody's declined. I mean, look at the guy that left baseball last year. Cabrera from the Lions. I mean, from the Tigers, pardon me, Lions. Ugh, Lions. <laughs> uh, but his numbers should get him a first ballot Hall of Fame. Would they? I don't know. we got to wait another five years to get a, a thing there. How about uh, Donnie Baseball? Don Mattingly. He played awful in awful teams with the New York Yankees. Yet 
his baseball numbers say he belongs there. You guys say otherwise. Why? Don Mattingly has always been himself, even when he coached the Marlins. Poor guy, but hey. He coached the Marlins. Is that going to be a detriment for him going to the Hall of Fame besides his numbers? <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, poor guy. He belongs in the Hall of Fame. Andrew Jones from the Atlanta Braves belongs in the Hall of Fame. Like Sammy Sosa. And Dale Murphy from the Atlanta Braves belongs there. Donnie Baseball belongs there. There are people in the Hall of Fame that really don't belong there because, hey, if you're looking at sportsmanship and uh, the way you're supposed to act for baseball, Babe Ruth doesn't belong there. Raymond Ty Cobb doesn't belong there. And a lot of other players in their generation don't belong there because they had awful tempers. And Ty Cobb, for example, he would go after you with his spike. And that was out of spite and malice. Okay? Pete Rose did the same thing. Charlie Hustle, you called him. But he would go after players to damage them so he could get a run in. Damage the other player. Never damaged him, but he sure did a job on Ray Fossey, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Besides being betting in there. So Pete Rose, no, he shouldn't be in there for the same reasons as Ty Cobb is there. So see, you got a quandary there, Hall of Fame for baseball. Why isn't Pete Rose in there when Ty Cobb was the same type guy? Okay? What are you going to do with Ichiro Suzuki when he comes up next year? That's going to be interesting. Oh, well, December 7th, 1941, a day which will live in infamy. We don't want a Japanese in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Really? Hmm. If he doesn't get there in the first ballot, that's what I'm going to say next year. Because he deserves first ballot entry. Same as Albert Pujols and Cabrera from the Tigers. They deserve number one in there. Shoeless Joe Jackson for the Veterans Committee should be included in there. Sammy Sosa in there. Bonds, uh, McGuire, and Rosewell. You have to develop some way... Or you could say, why really they don't deserve there and why really they deserve there. Not just your voters that say, we just turned our noses at them. Okay? And Ichiro Suzuki, what are you going to do about him next year? What are you going to do about Albert Pujols in a few years? And Miguel Cabrera. Those are my three things that I want there. Theo Murphy deserves to be in there. Donnie Baseball deserves to be in there, but they're not. Because of your politics on the Hall of Fame. This is your favorite lady in saying, good day.